First is Robert Lauter, and he'll be speaking for uh, two minutes from each person, up to two minutes. Everyone in the audience uh, to see the movie uh, Unplanned. It's it's the uh, it's the business plan of uh, Planned Parenthood, and it and it names the three billionaires that fund it. It's rated R because Hollywood does not want teenage girls, especially high school teenage girls, to see the movie. And, 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 the, and the, they also don't want the uh, uh, high school boys to see the movie. So, so what you're gonna have to do is the, uh, the parent is gonna have to buy the ticket and, and then, then, then they don't know what, what theater number it's in and, 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 they then, and then the children follow them. Huh? Oh, he wants to help. <laughs> Okay, and, and the, then, uh, the, then the parents can, you know, stand at the door and say, you know, like eight. It's, it's in movie eight, and, and the, then the teenage, te the, then the teenagers need to dress in black, and wear a black cap, and and sit on the very last row, and uh, and do not move because the person that you know that chick that counts the people. In the uh, in the audience, uh, they're going to pick up movement. Okay, and uh, then another uh, 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 a website that you all should visit is uh, is stopcse.org. CSE is comprehensive sexuality uh, education. It's not sex ed. It it, it, it deals with uh, gender identity. Uh, that that's that, that that's where a Somebody in the fourth grade uh, is confused, you know, about their gender. You know, like like a boy is confused. Well, maybe I should be a girl. And girls say, "Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! That's uh, I have masculine uh, feelings, and so maybe I should be a boy." And 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 that's the whole whole purpose of uh, of this curriculum that, that we have in uh, high high schools and grade schools. And. Uh, so that's, that's time. Okay. Next speaker is Shanga E. No last name. because the information that I have is probably going to be more explicit than what might be presented. Um, I am a master recipient of a uh, psych degree. Um, I've had training in psychology and child development. And the reason I'm here is because of the implementation of Planned Parenthood, which was established in 1942 by Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger, um, she was funded by several agencies. And in 1966, in conjunction with Alfred Kinsey, um, they've established ESSEC. And what that was, was that it um, connected with outreach programs such as Planned Parenthood. Now, Alfred Kinsey did studies on as early as five months, babies masturbating them to get their orgasmic rates of how long oh it took them God. to masturbate. Now, under 8329, you guys are bringing in Planned Parenthood. That's a biased perspective coming into the school, only addressing one perspective. I don't necessarily support abortions, and I don't think that it's fair to have one agency coming in here doing the third party teachings under AB 329. The Planned Parenthoods have curriculums. Where's the curriculum board that has occurred underneath to see this, this curriculum? Who are the presenters? What is their certification? What training have they had? If we go to research Planned Parenthood under Santa Ana and San Bernardino and other, other agencies that are tied into these programs, there's a huge problem of money coming in from certain assemblymen and people that are backing these bills getting funded by Planned Parenthood. Question, why is this curriculum not established across the district to have one implementation? You guys have $63 million coming through this agency. Why isn't that established? Number two, 
Why isn't it in Spanish that this curriculum is available? Why isn't the, why aren't the parents being notified of this curriculum? Why is everything vague in these notifications? There is a problem here with $63 million with people that are educated who cannot present things clearly for the parents. And what's happening right now, you guys are violating Educational Code 51101. 51101. I am extremely perturbed because not only am I a professional, That's but I'm a parent. Something needs to be done. This is not okay. So you can give these people two minutes, but we have a problem because no one has vetted these people. The curriculum has not been through a review board. And who are these people coming into the district that you're not explaining to the parents? Present Planned Parenthood up here and let's see what you, you are teaching our children. Thank you. sexual health education. Instructions by submitting a request in writing, which we call the opt-out clause. However, there is a portion of the implementation form which parents may not opt out, which is instructions and material shall affirmatively recognize that people have different sexual orientations and when discussing or providing examples of relationship and couples shall be inclusive the same sex relationship and shall teach uh, people about gender, gender expression, gender identity, and explore the harm of negative gender stereotypes. This part of AB 329 may occur in grades K to 12 which is kindergarten through 12 in any subject matter such as, such as English, language, art, history, or social, social science. I thank you very much, and I will definitely ask you that we, the parents, do not support the framework of this law. So please pay attention and consider what we're pleading with you today. Thank you so much. So I'd like to speak on a, I don't want, there's other issues I want to address besides this one, so I'd like to speak on another issue so I can have the full time. So you're not going to speak on me? Okay. So That's correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Judy Kim. Good evening. I'm a mother of seventh grader of Lexington Junior High School. As you remember or not, I spoke last month here. Actually, I don't like to mention those sexual contents with my kid learned from Planned Parenthood, oral sex, inner sex, so weird sexual stuff and abortion without parental consent. After the board meeting last month, I wanted to keep discussing via the email address of Ms. Morales. However, my email was often rejected and failed to be delivered via school email system. Wow. Of course, my letter included those sexual words because it was taught to my kid in the school. If those sexual words are too sensitive and inappropriate for school system, then why it was acceptable to our children? Why does this district allow the Planned Parenthood to come to schools? Yes. 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 Even though Lexington Junior High School stops inviting Planned Parenthood, I'm still worried because Planned Parenthood is still coming to other schools. Yes. For example, Cypress High School. 
Planned Parenthood is the primary supplier of abortion in the United States. According to Planned Parenthood's most recent 2017 and 2018 annual report, they performed around 332,000 abortions. Planned Parenthood is clearly not objective and not reliable agency for the 30,000 students of Anaheim Union High School District. As a parent, we strongly urge the board and district leaders to discontinue the long-standing relationship with Planned Parenthood. Especially, I really appreciate Superintendent Mr. Masuda's consideration. Mr. Masuda invites parents, so yeah, the parents will time. meet him on coming April 23rd. So I really hope to have a good conclusion for the innocent young students through the meeting. Thank you so much. Anthony, you, no last name. I really thank you guys for your time um, and for your service. I know that uh, you guys want to do what's right for the children, and I know that the principals and teachers that I've spoken to also want to do the right thing. However, um, there's a lot of issues that are going on in terms of uh, you know, what it is that is right for our children. We, we as parents want to understand what the schools are teaching. Um, the, the, the school should not supersede the parents. The parents need the information and clear information. The, t the couple of times I've gone to the school, well, actually four times I've gone to the school, I've spoken to different administrators and teachers, and all of them um, uh, can only provide me so much information, or the information is incomplete, or the information is so thick. I went to Lexington High School uh, at Amber, uh, uh, and met with Amber Houston, and they expected teachers, uh, parents, to read through 500 pages in a very short amount of time, or just in, in, you know, in passing, 500 pages. I went to uh, Cypress High School. I had to go on three different occasions because they didn't have the material available for me the first time. They said, come back another time, we'll have it available for you. I went two weeks later, and then two weeks later after that, I had to come again because the health teacher wasn't there. Th there's a lot of information that's floating around on social media, and every time I talk to somebody, they're, like, they're telling me that it's misinformation will give us the information. Be very clear about what's being presented to our children, who are the people who are coming to our schools and what they're presenting to us, to our children, and how they're presenting that material. I, it, it's, it's ridiculous that this, in this day and age that I have to get a copy from Cypress High School, and it's, it's great that gains this copy, but it's four-point font. I'm, uh. four, I'm in my mid-40s. I can barely read this thing, even with, even with the help of my glasses. Okay, the, 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 the slides on this, there's 12 slides per page. It's impossible to read anything that's on this. Hmm. I appreciate that they're trying to help, but in this day and age, they should be able to provide these materials electronically, in written form, for parents to look at. Right. I work 50 to 60 yeah. hours a week. My wife also works a lot of hours. There's so much, only so much time we can take off to go to the school. In six weeks, I was not able to get the material until they gave me this, which again is unreadable. It's, it's, it's really ridiculous. The parents need to know what's being taught to their children. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Instruction must encourage students to 
communicate with the parents, guardians, or other trusted adults about human sexuality. Instruction must be medically accurate, age appropriate, and exclusive for all students. So I don't think what they're learning is not age appropriate. Mm -hmm. Seventh graders, no. A recent research showed that 4% that of teens have sex before 13, and that 16% of ninth grade students are sexually active. In other words, majority of 7th and 9th grade teens, they are not having sex. So what Planned Parenthood told to students was not age appropriate. Most of parents and I, and I do not want our young friends or kids to learn gravity <coughs> and inappropriate sex education. We ask that parents go through the curriculums before and stop Planned Parenthood for educating in Anaheim School District if necessary. As a parent, we should have the right to approve sensitive lessons like sex education. And who teaches this? At last meeting, you promised that you will investigate their really, what really happened at the guest speaker. But how many students did you really hear? It's going to fourth, fourth quarter. There should be a lot of kids who took the health science class. As a parent and paying, tax paying citizen, I, we demand a clear result from the investigation and solution to prevent this type of inappropriate incident happening again. Thank you for your support. Say it again, I didn't hear it. of our district for all children. The Healthy Youth Act requires teachings about gender that most parents in general do not agree with. I teach my kids to love others and respect everyone regardless of their skin color, their status, or even sexual orientation. I have been teaching them about mommy couples and daddy couples. It's just the society that we live in. Now the state wants the school to teach children that they can choose or explore their gender and that there are many genders. They are teaching the children that they can choose what gender they want to be. They are implanting this idea in their minds at a premature age, right before puberty, when they are starting to explore who they really are. I have always believed in gender, uh, believe that gender is based on biology, but the new term is sex assigned at birth. I ask, who assigned this sex? It sounds like sex is a random assignment that a doctor can just prescribe. Um, public schools are supposed to level with the playing field and increase equity. However, when public schools erratically remove the moral authority of parents and challenge core religious and cultural values, how is this equitable? Catholic and Protestant parents do not expect religion to be taught in public schools. But that does not mean our values should be trampled and disregarded. High socioeconomic families can afford private schools that do not assault their values. However, lower socioeconomic children are forced to be taught ideologies that parents do not agree with. This class of families, these class of families are being taken advantage of. This is social injustice. We want representatives in our community who will imperatively fight for parent rights, and stand up for our values. No matter if they're rich, poor, or somewhere in between, parents know what's best for their children, not the government. Please revise the sex and, inc time. and include parents and teachers, different cultures and religions, so that we have an unbiased curriculum that abides by the law. Thank you. Thank you. for setting up a time to meet with us. However, it's unfortunate that he is setting up a limitation of who can attend. Like myself, the future parents of Anaheim Union High School District would love to attend the meeting, so if you can kindly allow me to do so, I would greatly appreciate it. 
going to the facts, according to the California Education Code 51931 through 51934, the information must be provided on the value of the abstinence while also providing medically accurate information on the other method of preventing pregnancy and STI. However, curricula that is being taught are deemed medically inaccurate according to many doctors with high expertise. The curricula claim inaccurate information that anal intercourse with condom is a low risk sexual activity alongside vaginal sex as long as those involved are using condom correctly. However, in reality, while condoms are FDA approved for vaginal intercourse, they are not approved for anal intercourse. The reason is because it's more likely to break during anal intercourse than during other type of sex due to greater amount of friction and other stress involved. In fact, even the perfect and consistent condom use, they are only 70% effective in preven uh, preventing HIV during anal intercourse. That means 30% of the time HIV can be spread even if the condom is used perfectly. A member of the CMA and AAAP Dr. John Rinkerman states that students are not being told medically accurate statistics regarding the effectiveness of condom use in anal sex. They are not being told the truth that anal sex is highest risk behavior for transmission of HIV and other STDs, especially since condoms are not FDA approved for anal sex. Even a, even a, a, a journalist, that is a gay magazine journalist, he owned for five years, he thought that advertising condom well, just letting you know, I really do appreciate everything what you guys done, but really hoping for you guys to look into it and resolve this issue. Thank you. Terry Kang. Um, she's gonna need a translator because she's gonna do it in Korean. Um, I'm gonna help her translate. Okay. English. Good evening, board members. I have a son that goes to Lexington Junior High. I'm here to share what he shared with me regarding the health class. I heard a couple inappropriate terms when he was speaking with me. They talked about types of sexes. They mentioned about oral sex and anal sex. What shocked me the most was that they showed a video of a girl getting raped. Oh, oh my god. Outrageous. They, the screen was blurred, but they could hear what was going on in the movie. <laughs> I'm here because of the video and what had happened, and I, I urge you guys to think about what these children are learning. My son told me that all these were taught from Planned Parenthood. I'm sure you guys have children of your own. If your children or grandchildren had this kind of education, how, how would you feel? Please consider us coming and speaking to you and wish that you would stop Planned Parenthood from coming to the school. Thank you.
with no last name. No Alfred? board members. I simply want to remind the board about the uh, Ralph and Brown Act. I will not be interrogated by the board members in this public forum as a clear violation of the Act. On March 5th, last meeting, we were told by board members that a full investigation will take place to find out why Planned Parenthood is in our schools. I sent an, e an email on March 13th to the board me members of administrative assistant by the name of Morales underscore P. I'm thinking it's Paul. Which I did receive a response from her Thank you very much for the response, but I did, I did not receive a response from you. Let me give you some, a few facts about Planned Parenthood. A journalist conducted 97 Planned Parenthoods, only five of the 97 clinics actually provide parental prenatal services. The 95% of the clinic, clinics co contracted did not offer uh, prenatal services. What services do you think they provided? Abortions. In 2018, as a clear statement here, the number is 332,999 abortions were done by this organization. My question to the board members is, why do we continue to allow a third party like this run rogue in our junior high schools? I have a document here from Sycamore Junior High School stating that Planned Parenthood will be at their schools conducting sex talks. Why aren't you being transparent with the parents? Why don't you take a stand like the teachers inside the schools that do not want to teach this garbage to our children, but you pay thousands of tax dollar money to provide medical yeah. related training? Why? You're going against parental rights. I do not give you permission to have Planned Parenthood teach my children about sex, as they are already misleading women on abortion. You have lost our trust, and I'm hoping these statements that you guys can wake up a little bit and do something about it. The fact Planned Parenthood it's is already time. deceiving women about prenatal care. Now they're deceiving the Anaheim school districts about the sex talks to our children. Thank you so much. <laughs>